What? Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Joyce? Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. Why? 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 Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwall at night. I know what happened. Don't bother to defend or explain. I hope you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad, but she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans. I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenage adults. And here we are, breaking and Okay, there's again. definitely a dorm map around here. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Best son in the world. Huh. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but... Once again, the Prescott's rule. Oh, more pills. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. I don't know if he's on a high enough dose, honestly. He probably needs more therapy and he's he's not he's not getting they're not taking his issues seriously and they just shove some meds at him and they're like here and his family doesn't want him like getting the help that he needs, like actually getting the help that he needs and regularly going to therapy. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Like they've recognized that there's a problem, but they just keep shoving everything under, under the rug. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Owner's manual. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. Steal it back! Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. Only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. He's very morbid. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Teen Parent Guide to Anger Management. He probably, I mean, it sounds like he needs to be on the meds he's on. He just needs that way looks more like help a than he's getting. Totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. The new romantics. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Oh. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Therapy, maybe? These photos are weird. Tumor? Dystrophy? That's what those are? Someone's getting beat with it. Okay. He's got pills so everywhere. Chloe. Hey, asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. So I did take a picture of her. He's got more, more pills here. Maybe he just has random pills. I really hope they were all consenting models. Yeah, he definitely has a lot of... what looks like literal torture porn. Oh, man. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Nathan to Victoria. Hey, gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious parte favors. 
I even told my dad to keep his pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're gonna have an end of the world theme, let's do it fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Hardy hard, Kate's gone wild, Vortex Club. Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Are you serious? Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Panastates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden and I'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shit whole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up. She's Jesus. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. Christine. She sounds awesome. And far away. Christine and Nathan. Tudo bem from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I bragged to all my coworkers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father's been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. I know you love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom. And the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school. I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove, sending out good thoughts. Better write back or I'll have a jaguar ship to your dorm. He, Nathan needs more influences like this. Just like just like Kate needed more good influences like Max, Nathan needs more good influences like, like his sister. And there's just not enough of that going around for either of them. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Extreme diet suppressant. Available without a prescription. Why? Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Principal Wells to Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while well, I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Take the freaking manual with you. Well, no, because then you have to explain how you got it. Say Nathan dropped it. <laughs> Just say he dropped it. Did we, what were we, did we find anything? We looked through, was there, was there something important? Must investigate Nathan's room. So I still haven't found whatever. Can I get rid of this projector? Hold on, I'm missing something. Scratch marks. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Can, does the sofa move? Let's find out what you're hiding. Uh. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. What is all in that bag? All right, let's get the hug. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Let's get out of here. Can I fix the door? Remember, you're on enemy turf now, Max. I want to fix the door. We gotta, we gotta fix this. I want no evidence that we were in there. There we go. There. Everything's fine. All right, we got... Let's go. Let's just go. We got what we needed. Let's go. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. 
Check this out. What else is in there? Because it's not just a phone. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? Visiting a friend? You're such a nosy bitch, Max! Stop right there, Nathan! Make me ho! <clears throat> Max! I got this! Warren, no! Get the fuck out of my face! <clears throat> Holy shit! <gasps> You are so fucking dead! Uh, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it! Help me, bro! Uh, uh, I think War has got it! You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Oh, oh god! Okay, alright, maybe... Warren! Warren. Get off me! Please! Please stop! Holy frick! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! Oh my god. Yes, we have to go! Holy Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Uh, I would like to rewind, please. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. That was- that was a bit much. That was a bit much. Now you've got witnesses that- that he has a gun. Damn, Max, you're- Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Grab the gun! Grab Why the gun! Why are you looking no. at me like that, huh? Fuck. You! And you! You're all dead! Let's go! Now! Plus, my dad is on his way! You're all fucked! He owns you! Beating him senseless would not have changed anything. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. It wouldn't have changed anything, except he wouldn't have the gun. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. That was... I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. Hey. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? You should! No, please. No, not he yet. has a gun! Uh, so Oh, maybe he's probably gonna then, hide it. Um, Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out... Anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. <laughs> yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. <laughs> I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. at the beach God 
I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Oh. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. No, Chloe. And I might even save you someday. Leave it in the car. About time. He doesn't. I am so going to hit you. Leave it in the car. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Please leave the gun in the car. Oh, I don't like this. Not feeling confident about it. Okay. The forest seemed quiet. No sign of life. Or deer. That's not ominous. Let's avoid talking to Frank as much as humanly possible. Nope, I don't want Aww. to go there. I was trying to get onto the beach. But Max doesn't want to go there. Oh. Liar? There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. Well, that would at least be good. Stop Pan Estates. Join the peaceful protest. This is where my nightmare started. Really? I thought your nightmare started up the hill. Like, way up there. I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. So apparently... Whales use, like, the ma magnetic pull of the Earth to navigate? What is with this whale? Why does it say whale? Can I take a picture? I may not know quantum speed, okay. but there has to be an explanation. So, I don't know, somehow Max has altered whatever, and that's why they're getting beached like this? I'm sure that's not a depressing photo. Okay, well, we got them all. What are you telling me I missed? Let's read journal. So after getting the inside info and assist from the other members of our team, Chloe and I made our way to the boys' room, aka Nathan's lair. Chloe stood guard out in the hall and I stealthed my way into Nathan's room. Even though I've become a master spy and detective, I still get surprised by things I see or find, like Nathan's sleek, expressionist bro cave. It was like walking from light to shadow in a single step. I swear I could feel the temperature drop the second I walked in, but then Nathan knows photography. And he knows you have to keep the film and equipment chilled. I store my instant film hoard in Mr. Jefferson's classroom. Speaking of cold stuff, Nathan's room was layered in creepy shit. The disturbing but impressive photos, all the evidence from his father's bullying, and probably the most important clue we could ever find, Nathan's phone. Likely loaded with messages and mysteries, it's not a good thing that I've internalized spying and stealing so casually over the past week. Everyday hero, am I right? And that's when Nathan Prescott showed up. He looked so wild-eyed and out of control that I felt a twinge of sympathy that he clearly needed help. But then I remembered he was also an asshole and had been extremely dangerous to me, Chloe, and Kate. So before I had to rewind, Warren entered the scene and my white knight headbutted Nathan in perfect payback. I couldn't believe it, neither could Nathan. In fact, Warren literally started to go ape all over Nathan's face. It wasn't cool, but my nerves were so frayed from the week, and I was so over all the Blackwell bullies, I almost didn't want to stop Warren from beating Nathan into the floor. 
Warren has his own issues to work out with Nathan, but this wasn't the time or place. Even if Nathan deserved it, and I would have been happy to watch Warren show him who was a Blackwell boss now. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Just down there, too. Due to recent coastal events, the Arcadia Bay City Council has closed the beaches to any wading, surfing, or swimming. This is for the safety of both marine life and the public. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. I mean, you're not walking through there. My cat is playing with his bag, and I'm sorry if you can hear it. Aw, oh, poor little beach ball. Is that it? Is that all the distraction I can get before we go talk to Frank? <sighs> okay, the window? Still here? I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. It's not. Oh boy. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. I think he puts it there on purpose, Max. Take the trash out sometime, dude. I mean, he at least took it outside? This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. I wonder what he feeds him. Chloe oh. looks ready to rumble. Yeah, I hope not too ready. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. Really? <laughs> but I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. Help or else. I'm sorry. Um... You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. Yeah, that's not... No, man. I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you... Like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I, this... The... I... Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have uh, any work at all. Can Dude, we you're not? a drug dealer. You snobby whore. Can we not? Don't come into my home and judge me. Can That's I rewind? That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? I, I did down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! No, 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 no. Chloe, no! You fucking killed my dog! No, 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 no! Oh my god! This, I didn't, oh god. Can, can we please? Please, I don't need this. Can we rewind? Oh no! Chloe. 
I just shot a man and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. Okay, let me rewind, please. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. Let me rewind, Max? please. Frank is really dead. I have rewind Bowers. Let me but use we can't him. stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. No, co this... Cops, come. This isn't... This is unnecessary. I realize you're both in shock. I, I understand this, but this is unnecessary. That's it. Let's get out of here. No, no, no. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Come on. Let me rewind, damn it. Thank you. The frick. I think if you don't have the gun. Yeah, I think. I think it makes you rewind because Frank would probably kill you. Let's try again. Try again. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Oh. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Don't use the gun. Get rid of the gun. Yes, get rid of it. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. Oh, God. Watch me screw up again. I... I don't have the... Okay. Close the door, no weapons. Oh god, wait, 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 wait! <sighs> Frank, um, after our last meeting, I don't want any weapons involved. Could you put your knife or whatever in the RV until we're done talking? After you pulled a fucking gun on me, you want to negotiate my safety? <sighs> I didn't trust you before, and now I do less. Yeah, God, why? I hate you, Black. Oh, Black come on, shit. no, don't do you this. Act like you own this town, like I'm your puppet. Come on. Nobody owns me. You understand that? Can we not? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me no, what no, to no. do. Get it, bitch. No, no, no. Get it. How do you like my play, kid? No, stop. Uh, whoa. Stop. Get off of me! Motherfucker! <laughs> okay, alright, so now we know what happens if you don't have the gun. Son of a... How does this go well? Alright, get rid of the gun and wash your... Frick. Listen, Chloe. Max, I should have known you would be kind... I don't want a frick. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Please. Or how you used to be. I... I don't have the money. Okay. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay. Okay. Why does that work? I'm not getting you high. Ugh, no fight. Okay, let's not fight. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV? Alright, so let's try I'm sorry. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. 
Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so just, much bigger than Just this. tell him it's about oh, Rachel. Yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. You were threatening someone. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. Oh, He's dog. done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Um... Gave dog a bone. I don't think... Let's try the dog rescue? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. <laughs> That's amazing. No, alright? It was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like... like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really Yeah, here? we should live yes. with that. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? You know Rachel, what are you hiding? Rachel's letter. Uh, no. Bracelet? You have Rachel's bracelet. No. Obviously no, 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 that's telling. not what I meant. So tell us. No. Never come into my home no. and tell me what to do. I didn't. Understand? Ugh, Frick. Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. I didn't mean to. You don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late. She's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. No. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Son of a freaking... And she shoots him. Oh my god. I meant to, like, appeal to him? I meant to appeal with the bracelet? Not piss him off with the bracelet? I thought it was going to be an emotional appeal, and that's not- Why do I have to rewind all the way to the beginning? Do I have to rewind all the way to the beginning? Can we just go to the next conversation point? No way I can stop here. Why? Why do I have to rewind that far? Okay, I don't know if telling Chloe to watch her mouth does anything. Listen, Chloe. I... <sighs> Let's see what this does. Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck-up. Occasionally I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? That wasn't useful. Okay, no fight. We don't want to fight. Notch. Just then. Oh, he's. Um, I'm sorry. Listen. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You and Chloe. All right, you knew her. Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice. Or her laugh. 
anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can you find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Holy frick. Oh, that was cool. Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Seriously. All right, I'm ready to get the hell out of here. <laughs> that was traumatic. Let's go. Let's go. Back to the investigation board. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. Gosh, can you imagine if... <sighs> I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. I can see, like, killing Frank just because every option seems to lead to hostile. <sighs> Hi, Max. Just wanted to see how the search was going. Thanks, Frank. We're getting closer. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you both want a party and good luck. Ah, I think I'll pass on the party. <laughs> After that dorm brawl, Chloe and I headed to the beach to deal with Frank and see if we could get him to join us. I had to be careful and not get him all tweaked out. He was pretty pissed that somebody had gotten into his RV and borrowed his account book. But once he saw that we didn't care about drugs or money, only Rachel, he mellowed out. All I could think was, I'm trying to get a drug dealer to help me find a missing girl. Incredibly, Frank actually agreed to help. He knows how naive and clueless we are, so I hope that our sincerity swayed him. I'm still unsure about him, and I can't be so naive not to keep my rewind guard up. I don't know much about him, except that he sells drugs, has a wicked temper, and that he loved Rachel even more than his beans. <laughs> so we get to add another member to our team. Booyah! My life feels so surreal at this point, I don't know how to react anymore. I can rewind time and space, but is it aging me before my own time and space? I'm learning things I shouldn't, messing up too much shit, including my own history? Obviously, my nosebleeds and dizzy spells are a bad sign I'm overusing my powers, but it's become almost part of my nature, or maybe a habit. Power corrupts? Not yet, I hope. I remember this famous episode of the original Star Trek where Kirk has to go back in time and let the person he loves die so the Nazis won't win the war. What kind of fucked up choice is that? But what would have happened if I had not been in the school bathroom to save Chloe that day? But damn it, I was there, and thus, I was supposed to be there. Destiny. And the fact that we were able to convince Frank to actually help us gives the most hope I've had in a while. Yes, Chloe and I were stupid to confront Frank like that, considering how he reacted before, but I don't see how anyone can say he didn't really love Rachel Amber. He shouldn't have pulled a knife on Chloe, though, and I don't like that he sells all these dangerous meds to teenagers, especially Nathan. He needs psychiatric supervision, not just bags of pills. At least he won't be going to Frank again. I still don't know why Chloe or even Rachel would want to hang out with Frank, but I can't suss that out anymore. Maybe if I hadn't left town, I'd be less judgmental. But now we have Nathan's phone, David's coordinates, Frank's account book, and a big board of clues, which brings us closer to finding Rachel Amber, finally. So maybe the tide is finally turning, or time is finally turning. <sighs> 